Welcome to section 5, which is Prove Triangles Similar by SSS and SAS. This is going to be similar to the last section. Last section we determined are triangles similar, yes or no, using the theorem AA. Today we're going to learn two other theorems. So we have two objectives. First, we're going to determine if the triangles are similar, and then we're going to use proportions to find missing side links. Like last section, we're not actually going to be writing any proofs. Instead, I'm going to give you some figures, and you're going to tell me yes or no whether the figures are similar. There are three ways to prove triangles similar, one of which we've already learned, and two that we have not. So the one that we have already learned is AA. So this means that two pairs of angles are congruent. Now remember, when I say that triangles are similar, it means all of their angles are congruent and all of their sides are proportional. In order for that to be true, I only need to show that two pairs of angles are congruent. That's one theorem. The next way is SSS. So SSS you've seen before. That's a way to prove that triangles are congruent. It also proves that triangles are similar. Now SSS means all three pairs of sides are proportional. And then the next theorem is SAS. So SAS tells us we have two pairs of sides proportional. And the included angles are congruent. Okay, so all three of these theorems will prove that triangles are similar. So let's look at how we're going to use them. In examples one and two, it says, are the triangles shown similar? If yes, write a similarity statement and state which theorem or postulate you used. So looking at the first example, I'm going to notice I have two pairs of sides and I have the angles. So it looks like I might be using SAS. Before I even um, start checking the proportions, is this set up correctly for SAS? Well, I do have two pairs of sides but I do not have the included angles. So I can't use SAS here. I'm not going to be able to use SSS because I don't have all three pairs of sides. And I'm not going to be able to use AA because I don't have two pairs of angles. So at this point, these triangles are not similar. It's possible that they could be, but we cannot prove them similar. So let's look at the next example. Next example, I have three pairs of sides. So it looks like I could be using SSS. So in order to use SSS, all the sides have to be proportional. So right now I'm going to have to set up all those proportions between the sides. So starting with our first triangle, the smallest side is 6, the medium side is 9, and the largest side is 12. That's the triangle on the left. Now looking at the triangle on the right. The smallest side is 8, the medium side is 12, and the largest side is 16. So you're always going to have to match up the small side with the small side, the medium side with the medium side, and the large side with the large side. Now I have to simplify these and see if they're true. The first ratio, if I divide both numerator and denominator by 2, I get 3 over 4. So second one, I can divide both by 3. This gives me 3 over 4. Third one, I divide both by 4, and that gives me 3 over 4. All three proportions are equal. So we would say, yes, the triangles are similar. So I'm going to say, yes, similar by SSS similarity. You have to put the tilde after SSS so that I know that we're talking about similarity and not congruency. We are also asked to write the similarity statement. So the first triangle I'm going to call GHF. Okay, GHF. If I go in that order, I go small side, medium side, large side. So in the other triangle, I need to go small, medium, large, so I, J, K. Remember that that's not the only similarity statement, but they do need to be in the same order. So that's how we're going to use these two theorems. Here are two more examples. Right now, I would like you to pause the video and try these two on your own, please. Good luck.
Okay, let's see how we did. With this first example, we have two pairs of sides, and then we have a pair of angles. So it looks like I might be using SAS. This is the included angles. So I definitely have the A part. I definitely have angles congruent. Now I need to check if the sides are proportional. My two sides on the first triangle are 24 and 28. 24 is smaller, so that's going to correspond to 18. And then 21 will correspond to the 28. Now on the first ratio, if I divide both numerator and denominator by 6, I get 4 over 3. Second one, I divide both by 7. That gives me 4 over 3. These are equal. So I would say yes, the triangles are similar by SAS similarity. Again, you have to put the tilde so that I know we're talking about similar triangles and not congruent triangles. And then I'm going to write the similarity statement. First triangle I'm going to call SRT. So in this case I went small, medium, no marking. So small, medium, no marking. It's going to be PNQ. So hopefully you got that one right. Now let's look at the second example. This one looks like, again, I might be using SSS because I have three pairs of sides. So let's set up our ratio. First triangle, my sides are 6, 12, and 15. Second triangle, the smallest side is 6, the medium triangle is 8, and the largest, tri the largest side is 10. Right away, I'm going to notice this first ratio is 1, and the second two definitely are not 1. So no, these triangles are not similar. Their sides are not proportional. Hopefully you got those two right. If not, you're going to have a chance to redeem yourself with a few more examples. Please flip the page. Okay, so this next example I'm going to assume is asking us whether or not the triangles are similar. So in this case, we're looking at three different triangles. We're looking at the triangle that is on the left. We're looking at the triangle that's on the right. And we are looking at the large triangle. First, let's compare the left to the right. The triangle on the left has sides of 12, 16, and 20. Triangle on the right, the smallest side is 9, the medium side is 12, and the largest side is 15. So right now I'm comparing the left triangle to the right triangle. Now I need to simplify all of these. My first ratio, if I divide everything by 3, I get 4 over 3. The second one, if I divide by 4, I get 4 over 3. And then if I divide by 5, I get 4 over 3. So yes, the left triangle is similar to the right triangle. Now, I'm going to compare the left triangle to the entire triangle. Well, first let me write my similarity statement. So my left triangle, I'm going to call WXZ. Okay, so if I go WXZ, I went large side, small side, medium side. So triangle on the right, I need to go large, small, medium. So that's going to be X, Y, Z. Okay, so the triangle on the left is similar to the triangle on the right. Now you've seen an example like this before. Um, I think it was in section 3. So we proved the left, the right, and the entire triangle similar. Okay, so then I said I'm going to compare the left to the large triangle. So the left triangle still has sides of... 12, 16, and 20. My large triangle has a side of 15, a side of 20, and then this side of 25. Okay, so my smallest side is 15, my medium side is 20, and my largest side is 25. So now let's simplify these ratios. The first ratio, I can divide both numerator and denominator by 3, and I get 4 over 5. The next one I can divide by 4, and I get 4 over 5. And then the next one I can divide by 5, and I get 4 over 5. And I notice that these triangles are similar. So the left is similar to the right. The left is similar to the largest triangle, so all three triangles are similar. So what I can do is I can add on the similarity statement for the large triangle. So the triangle on the left, again, I went W to X to Z. So I went large, small, medium. So now on the big triangle, I'm going to have to do the same thing. I'm going to have to go large, small, medium. So that's going to be W, Y, X. So 
So hopefully that was not too confusing. If it was and I did a poor job explaining, please make sure you tell me in class so I can go over it again. So next example, it says find the values of x and y that make triangle PHS similar to triangle GEO. So I'm going to start this one out with you and then you're going to do, you're going to finish it. First thing that I want us to do is I want us to write the statement of proportionality. So I'm going to look here and find all the sides that correspond. So I know that PH is going to correspond to GE and I'm going to know that HS corresponds to EO and that PS corresponds to GO. Then I'm going to fill these in. So PH is 4, GE is 12, HS is 8, EO is 2 times Y plus 2, and then PS is X minus 1, and GO is 18. Okay, I'm solving for both X and Y, so I'm going to need two equations, one for X and one for Y. Now, I only have three ratios, so I'm going to have to use one of those ratios twice. This ratio has two numbers and no variables, so that's the one I'm going to use twice. I'm going to use it once to find X, and I'm going to use it once to find Y. So in order to find X, I'm going to have to use this ratio, X minus 1 over 18. And then to find y, I'm going to have to use this one, 8 over 2 times y plus 2. Right now, pause the video and finish this problem on your own, please. Okay, let's see how we did. You should have gotten x to be 7 and y to be 10. If you didn't, then you did something wrong. If you got that right, good. If you didn't, make sure you pause the video and go back and find your mistake. Okay, did we comp accomplish the objectives? So first thing that we did was we learned about SSS and SAS, and you use those to identify similar triangles. So to tell me, yes, the triangles are similar, or no, they're not. And then we used proportions to find the missing side lengths, like in the example that we just did. Now you have one extra example to do. It's this extra example number one. It says, is either triangle DEF or triangle GHJ similar to ABC? So it's asking you, is DEF similar to ABC? And it's also asking, is triangle GHJ similar to triangle ABC. So it's asking you two different questions. So you need to compare ABC to both DEF and GHI. I need to see that work when you come to class and I need to see yes or no whether the triangles are similar. If you run into any problems, please make sure you look back at the first page of notes that we did. When you come to class tomorrow, I'm gonna to be making sure that you have all the work, all the correct work and all of the correct answers. Please bring any questions that you have to class. Good luck.